Hello and welcome back to Magicraft. Let's go ahead and go in, get back into the action. I, I really think some of these spells could be meshed way better together than what I was doing in the last one. I've got some large plans for it. And I think really combining the magic shot early on, I don't know if it makes sense. Arcane explosion, what is this gonna do for me? Because combining the magic shots, it means I have less ability to kind of shoot as quickly. Holy cow. Okay, arcane blast is like an area attack and then the other ones just shoot. So arcane blast has 10 mana it costs per shot, whereas the other ones here only cost three. It's something to keep in mind. I think I like going for blessing. Blessings seem kind of powerful. And for now, I might just stick to the magic bullets. Even though I might be limiting myself just a little bit by not using Arcane Explosion, I feel like I can manage early on here pretty, pretty well. And it looks like there's some type of chest there. Gotta take a look in just a moment. Got some rainbow guys here. Maybe a good opportunity to see how well this works. Boom. Okay, kinda don't mind it. We grab our blessing. Mana recovery up. Tempting. Suck magic. Kill the enemy to restore 8 points MP. For every enemy I kill, that seems ridiculously powerful. The potion thing is tempting. I, I would have loved to have that last time, but honestly, this suck magic thing seems kind of A overpowered. Like, if I'm going to use mana at all, why not just uh, take advantage of that? But okay, muscle atrophy. Decrease own movement speed by 0.8. Does that mean like 80% or does that mean just like a tiny little bit? But let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, I get the curse. I don't really feel like I'm that much slower, so I'm going to guess that that that's uh, not that big of an effect, but I only got gold and a little bit of shield from that. And then let's go ahead and go... Well, I've got full HP, so let's go to the coins. See what you have for me. Pop! Wow. <laughs> they don't have a whole ton of health, so just get in close and pop them. 14 damage, I guess, isn't a whole lot by comparison, because I each of these does 10. I can fire them pretty quick, but uh, it doesn't cost too much MP, so I guess it's not really a problem. Just keep going for gold, I and mean, we've got plenty of HP. So far, it's uh, not terribly difficult to get myself alive. Maybe take the damage. I do have shield, so I suppose I might as well remove my shield, but get heavy scattering. Three spells after simultaneously fire. But doesn't this fire them in really bad directions? It's still kind of neat, though. And it's not too expensive to fire. Let's see. It kind of increases my damage output. As long as I'm up close, it's like a shotgun now. Maybe, maybe not too bad at all. Okay, grab some coins. And we are quickly, quickly gaining a lot of money. If I can get a shop soon, that'd be nice. Heavy scattering. Is it better to maybe have this? Maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe more spells instead of health, at least. Because I definitely don't really need the health. Pop. Okay, get rid of these guys. These flying ones don't seem to have a whole ton to fight back with. And Arcane Explosion is ripping through them easily enough. Okay, so unfortunately that's kind of over the spikes. Okay, that's un that's unfortunate. Okay, run, 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 grab them all. We have lead, cast another spell after the end, and poison liquid crystal. So how does this work? Okay, so this creates it into a poison blast. Hmm. Oh, what if I did arcane explosion on the end of a lead? That's kind of neat. And then it poisons whatever it hits in that area. Kind of love that, actually. I think we're going to go for that. And then we can just have one extra magic bullet on the end to fire an additional close range attack, kind of, if necessary. But okay, we do have enough money for the shop. Let's take a look. We could get a multicast wand, a little bit more cooldown than my current wand, a little less attack interval, and a better angle, it looks like. Maybe, maybe... Multiple shot. Make subsequent spells too heavy shot. What does this mean for me? Let's pull everything off, but this... Grab these two. Oh, this becomes a double heavy shot on subsequent, and then if I put this in, it just launches a bunch of heavy shots every time. We do poison... Oh boy. <laughs> well, this is actually interesting, but I don't know if that's any different than just doing this. Oh, it is because it's doubling up the poison, but maybe better to do lead for a double poison hit from a long range. Okay, ah, I don't know. This is kind of wild. Maybe multicast wand would be good to get here, but there's also this one. Accurate reinforcement decreases cooldown a bit and makes angle disappear, With which this has 100 angles. So kind of want to try you and then maybe try the multicast wand. I'm kind of putting all of my eggs in one basket here, but what if we go this one on the end? Heavy scattering. Oh, this is kind of tough. What do I want to lose here? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Use, use this wand. Here we go. What can I do to make this happen a little different? Oh, I want lead, kind of. Well, do I? Too heavy shot. What if I did like this? So this causes me to... Jeez, this is kind of confusing. Super accurate shots, but are these any different? One versus two? Oh, four. This is crazy. Okay, so it seems like magic bullets are hitting for 20, essentially, now. Each bullet. And there's two that come out at once. And then we also have the poison. What if I made poison come back here? Everything becomes poisoned. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. And then do I collect one more key as well? I do have the money for it. Probably an okay idea. Get two keys going into the boss. Now, oh, okay. Different type of boss. This one, tracking the movements I make. And it's kind of a bullet hell situation. Oop. Okay, gotta lead them just a little bit with my shots. Ah, okay. Lead them just a bit, because they don't really seem to lead me. Okay. Uh... Okay. Wow. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think the poison was probably really helping me out there. What kind of wand options do I have? Snapcast wand or ecliptic wand? Ecliptic wand gives me heavy scattering and revolution. I kind of like revolution, but I don't know if it's good for my build at all. Snapcast wand seems more useful. If I get snapcast wand, can I replace wand one or is wand one always have to be the same one? Let's see. Okay, yes, I can replace wand one, meaning I could throw something quick in there, I suppose, <laughs> if I ever come up with anything, because this is a rapid fire wand. Maybe a summoning wand? We'll see. Okay, but we keep going. This time, getting some blessings. I think these snakes, yeah, my my, uh, my explosion ability is pushing them back enough that I don't have to worry about it. Arcane explosion seems to push them back pretty well, keeping me from having to deal with the snakes, because snakes are actually pretty difficult to avoid. Push you back, push you back, wow. Yeah, see, this is already such an improvement over the last video in terms of making special new wands for myself. Poison. Boom, boom. Gone. What do we got here? Vampire amulet. Killing enemy has 50% chance to recover one blood. What do I have right now? A mana recovery thing. So maybe more mana recovery isn't a bad idea. Slows enemy missiles within three meters. That's kind of nice. Yeah, okay, deceleration field. I kind of like the idea of making it easier for me to survive. As much as I really do like mana regeneration, we don't want to go to a shop yet. Let's get more spells, I suppose. Ooh, that is a lot of bombs, but oh, those things really kind of stop in midair if they stay in my field too long. Okay, get rid of all these guys, slow down all their shots. Grab this potion, first potion of the day. Invisibility potion, after use, the enemy can no longer find you and the attack will reveal itself for 60 seconds. Let's grab a new spell. Penetrate and volley. Volley, two spells after simultaneously firing. So volley is just like heavy scattering, but with less of a damage to accuracy, but also less spell effect. And then penetrate doesn't seem especially useful for what I have right now. It could be useful here on wand one. Penetrate on that Might as well, I suppose. But yeah, nothing too crazy for spells there. Gotcha. And we get some coin room. Move across. Pop, pop. Bow, bow. Hit you. These snakes are kind of wild. Their faces are pretty creepy. But yeah, we're managing pretty well against them. Let's grab our coins. Not enough for a shop yet. Keep going to more of these spell rooms. Get some new spells. I really like that potion that allows you to uh, replace all spells in inventory. I kind of didn't take advantage of that very well last time, but I think I could probably do some crazy stuff with that if I got it here. Another key. Oh, Goose Heart. Yeah. So if I throw Goose Heart as my secondary, does Goose Heart get affected by anything like this? Like if I if I have Goose Heart and I add Penetrate onto that. Does that mean that they will be able to take advantage of Penetrate or no? And then, ooh, I actually have four magic bullets and I'm only using two of them, so we can combine them without losing anything. Use this, Compose. So now we've got an upgraded one in here. I can also, oh, we can grab some extra gold from these barrels. I can also recast some of my some of my spells as well. Oh, we've got a secret room here. Let's go in there after just in case this stuff disappears. Oh, we wanna recast what? Volley for sure, cause I don't necessarily need volley that much. Recast it. Was an enemy on hit three seconds. Okay, and then what else could I recast? Anything else that matters here? Maybe lead? Arcane Explosion, interesting. I wouldn't mind upgrading Arcane Explosion, but we've only got one of two of each, so Penetrate. It looks like Penetrate is actually being useful for our goose, so maybe leave Penetrate for now. We'll just hold on what we got. If we happen to get an extra poison or an extra Arcane later on, then we can take advantage of that more. But you know what I could do here is I could switch out to this Arcane, and then we will just be hitting for crazy damage, right? Because we'll have two Arcane Explosions both being impacted by a lot. And then, you know what? Probably we want to reroll the other magic bullet then. Ooh, a slow. What if we put slow instead of penetrate? That might be more useful. And summon my little guys here. They'll have slow bullets. Yeah, I kind of like that better. And then maybe we will reroll penetrate. Rebound. Eh, not interested in that. There's another one. <laughs> Recasting quite a bit here. We have butterfly. Don't care about that. Lead. Wasting a lot of my gold, but okay. 50% damage enhancement. I could do it instead of accuracy. I could go full into magic burst here. If I add extra poison, does that increase poison at all? It doesn't seem like it does. Okay, so one extra poison doesn't do anything for me. Anything on here that I could really take advantage of. I don't want to lose my magic bullet that badly. I don't know if we care that much about 
about the poison. Roll that. Dark snake. Mm, dark snake. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I want to keep throwing away my gold too much longer. This way, we don't necessarily need accuracy because the dark snakes can go whichever way they want to go. I think that's okay because they do a decent amount of damage. And what is this? What is this? Oh, I can merge things. What does merging mean? I feel like merging these is probably a bad idea. I don't want to lose everything I have. I think I think what I've got right now is fine. It's tempting, but I think we're good. DPS over 100. Very nice. And money or health. I don't really have any way to recover health right now, but maybe I can get one if I keep pushing gold because uh, my weapons right now are getting pretty nuts. Gotta be kind of careful not to just walk into bullets, though, to be sure. Love my little minions here. They do so well for me. Okay, pick up some gold and be careful with the health to be sure. More blessings is probably good. There's a possibility of us somehow managing to find some health blessing or or something along those lines. Something to make me a little bit more, a little bit less vulnerable, really. Missile Interceptor is an option, which is probably pretty good for my slowdown field. I think Missile Interceptor is probably the way to go. And we have an extra key. We have a couple keys now, so we will go in here. Use one on this, get an extra key. Use one on this, gives us Frost Crystal. Right now we do enough damage, we don't necessarily need it, but I will hold on to it. And then we'll take a little damage and get decreased minions health by 30%. Ooh, don't know if I need more health on you, but thank you very much. And we'll hold on to these other spells, but uh, time for another boss. A little bit lower on health than I'd like to be, but still got a decent amount. Tonsil, what are we working with here? Started by poisoning you to be sure. Look how much quick damage we managed to do. Half the health already gone. All right, but you are a poison fiend just like myself. So got to be careful of that. But I think I'll, I'll be all right. Tonsil, a couple more hits on you and you're gone. Yes. Okay. Okay. Carefully navigate my way around here. Get as much of this meta progression stuff as I can. And venomous wand or grounder wand. Ooh, kind of wish I'd held on to that other poison crystal so I could upgrade. Roll the ball. 50 damage is pretty nice. Pursuit or accelerator. None of these things are really up my alley. Maybe venomous wand, I guess, just to grab ourselves an extra item there and swap it back over. Or even, or even swap in for a second one here, maybe. Maybe create gooses with uh, as much power as possible. So we're gonna, we're gonna give them accuracy, poison, and frost, and then still keep the slow. Some just absolutely ridiculous goose action happening here. And we can head into this room. What do we got? What is this? Does it cost 20 blood? Holy cow, epic items. When encountering a shop or processing room, a special room is bound to appear. I don't know what a special room exactly means. Kill shield, increase 20 shield per kill, three units, gain one shield. Or spell copy, every time a spell is fired, 10% chance to copy spell in a random direction. That's kind of interesting. Basically a flat increase to my damage since I'm I'm not like a blast firing kind of dude. Oh, special room might be like the room I have right now. I don't have a ton of extra keys though. We probably just want to go for the increase to our damage and that loses us quite a bit of health. It's mostly our max health, so we didn't really have the health anyway. Okay, what do we got here? Traveling to a second area, brand new area, and so, so powerful while we're at it. Go to a shop or get more spells. We could probably go to a shop, sure. What do we got here? Freeze, pursuit, lead, key. Don't care much for any of it, so we will grab a key. What about this wand? Ghost fire wand. Don't really have what I need for this. Auto navigation, the spell tracks the target at an angle of 18 degrees. Would this work with what I have? Well, regardless, we don't have the money for it. Uh, we want to go with hmm, maybe max health up because right now our health is getting kind of low. But our damage is through the roof. Open this chest while I'm here. A lot of meta progression coins. We are kind of busted right now. My, my <laughs> protective shields are crazy. Okay, we might actually be able to beat this overall. I don't know, but I'm feeling a pretty confident right about now. Oh, no key to open this door with. Special room is locked to me, but we can get uh, money or... I don't know if I need any more spells right now. I feel so confident with what I've got. Anybody tries to fire anything at me, I slow it down, I stop it, I shoot it in midair. Ooh, look at all these bullets, but uh, they're unable to to affect me. And my guys are firing poison, slow, and, uh, and what else? Poison, slow, frost, just some ridiculous weapon here for my uh, little penguin guy to use. Okay, grab ourselves some coins. Careful of the traps. Ooh, okay. Poison, don't love that. Carefully navigate my way through here. Cross. I don't have any way of levitating. I remember in the uh, tutorial there was a way to levitate. Maybe there's something over there for me to get, but unfortunately, nothing for me to use there. No keys. Want to summon ourselves some goose. Go to a combine room. Sure, we can recast. I don't think we have anything to combine, right? I want to combine poisons at some point. Magic bullet. I don't know if there's anywhere I'm going to want to use magic bullet. I think what I have now is always going to be better than magic bullet. So unfortunately, as much as this is a powerful thing, I'm going to recast it. Ooh, it recasts to a leveled up thing. Wow. Laser, not that important. Ooh, but poison. Upgraded poison. 
Incredible. So we definitely want that. Throw some poisons in here. Upgraded poison we'll, we'll put on our weapons here. And what is this effect? Six hit? Maybe swap these. These uh, goose can fire a six poison one instead of a three. Well, we could keep the accuracy. I don't know if anything here decreases accuracy, but yeah, nothing here really decreases accuracy. I don't know if I really need it. Recast. Cthulhu hand. Yeah, that's not that's not really what I need. Recast. Roll the ball. 50 damage. 50 damage is high. But again, like as much as roll the ball is really powerful, I just don't know if I need it. Volley. No. Butterfly. Penetrate. Okay. Penetrate's not the worst thing in the world. So we can resummon our goose and they will be way stronger. I did feel in the last one these minions were pretty ridiculously powerful. Okay, let's go on to another blessing room. Starting with the enemy poisoned. Great, great plan. Oh gosh, penguins are getting uh, kind of ripped apart by the saw blades. Let's uh, summon ourselves back in some penguins and protect us just a bit. Not great that they are so weak to poison. Don't necessarily love that. Okay, send these, uh, send these guys on their way. <laughs> Look how many of these snakes. Boom. Can't even get close. Okay, let's go through the slow. Avoid the poison. Soul domination. Killing enemies has 30% chance to dominate the soul. Do damage for me after they die. Interest. Every time you enter an area, gain gold based on the amount of gold they have already. And get well. Gain some health every time you enter a door. You know, we'll take interest. See if I can just gain unbelievable amounts of wealth. A couple gold there just for entering a new room. Don't mind that. We got some ghosts coming at us from all sides, but uh, they'll have some trouble getting in too close to me. Oh crap. Okay, well, maybe not. I, I do have a little bit low mana, honestly. Infinite ghosts or no? Walk past here. Oh, nope, not infinite. Not bad. Okay, take a little hit. What do we got? Some shield and immunity to damage. I'm going to drink this one and grab this one. I'm invisible and I have an invincibility potion. Okay, we've got we've got the last poison we need in order to uh, upgrade to another level two poison. Am I able to come through these walls somehow? Cause uh, like, like press a button somewhere? Surely there's a puzzle here that I'm missing. All right, well, I can't figure it out. Let's just keep going. <laughs> okay, we've got, uh, we've got yet another one of these places. Finally combine these. Now we've got a level two, yet another level two. So we've got both poisons up to level two and anything I want to reroll. Ooh, we have something here. What is this? Life enhancement, increase main health. I don't know if I can care about minion health that much. I can always resummon them in. Unless something here doesn't really matter that much to me. But we have two life enhancement anyway. Okay, so this one's already already an option. I don't know if I need two life enhancement. It's kind of nice of an idea to upgrade the goose. Maybe I'd call more of them. I'm not sure. Tempting to hold on to it just for now in the hopes we get we get more of it. Gotta summon ourselves some more goose. And we've got about a million of them and we can fight the boss now pretty securely. Okay, another one of these guys that follows my movements tries to duplicate them, but it's okay because they fire bullets as their main way of attacking, and I'm just not too worried about that. Navigate them a little carefully, but still. And we can <laughs> we can kind of walk them right into our penguins, see how much that does for them. Ooh, they destroyed my penguins. Send them back in. Penguins, you're so powerful. Ooh, okay. Yikes, and they are walking right into the spikes. You know what? Time to dish out a little bit of damage. Okay, 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 okay. A lot of bullets. We are, uh built to fight this guy for sure. Slow down, slow down, slow down. True. Oh, I thought I could thought I could squeeze through there. Not quite. Lost a lot of health, but I get a little health back here and we get what? Two pursuit spells. <laughs> I don't know if I care much about pursuit spells, but uh fine. Penguins, you are my friends. Ooh, I even get to slow down the butterflies. I didn't realize that they would be slowed down as well. Can't get over there to those pots that way, but that's fine. We can send our snakes over there if we if we're lucky with the way they travel. Some gold, but yeah, no way of getting it. What do I want next? A shop? Yeah, probably a shop. Definitely have a lot of gold for it. Two keys, so six each. We got a sticky wand. Interesting enough, we got some... Ooh, we're storing 30 life, though, for 15 gold. We could also get pursuit in order to get an upgraded pursuit, and then we could recast that. What do we got? 65 total gold. We'll get the keys to start and the health, because we know we need that. Just no getting around that. Shield and pursuit. Anything else here that matters? I don't think so. Open the door. What do we got? We can buy potions. Interesting. Movement speed, reset rewards, temporary shield, petrify, one point mana regeneration speed. Wow. Slow down time for 12 seconds. So this is just permanently going to increase my mana regeneration. Gotta go for that for sure because that's just nuts. Gain temporary shield equal to missing life is also pretty unique, but immune to all damage is probably more valuable. Movement speed plus 0.6 permanently. Let's do it. Grab you, use it, grab this, and on into a blessing room. Hope for some good luck here. Oh, took a little damage. Careful with that. Ah, getting in too close. Maybe I sent- Oh, I'm stepping on the poison. That's what's happening. Like, what the heck's going on? But, okay. When they die, they're dropping poison, I suppose. Summon goose. Oh, my goodness. These guys are wild. They're gonna stay way back, send out some snakes. 
Dish out a little bit of damage from a distance. Lost a lot of health pretty quickly. Just stay back here. Woo. Temporary shield equal to the missing life. Use that. Huge temporary shield, but not going to matter much for me. I guess I'm going to be at least less careful around the uh, the poison now that I have temporary shield. But Soul domination. Ooh, max mana plus 10. Kind of tempting. Each use of a potion increases HP and MP, though. is probably way more valuable than max mana up 10, because I will be getting a lot of potions as we go along. Although I'm probably getting close to, I guess, the end of the second area. If I'm careful, I can get a lot further. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Back it up. Okay, slow down their bullets. These guys are nuts. Okay, be very careful to avoid any poison. Accuracy and revolution. I could create revolution around the penguins, which is kind of a weird idea. Health or blessing. Don't I get health every room? Did I just never end up getting that? <laughs> I've just turned that down a million times. We could get the blessing and hope for a health blessing. Although I don't know if I'm ever really going to appreciate health blessings, even if I get them. Gotta be very careful here with these guys because those fire long lasers. I can send my own minions in. They'll hopefully take care of it for me. Okay, back it up. Hope for the best here. Send out some of these guys. Send out some more of my own little minions. Poison them, stun them. Shoot, you guys go in and stun, and then I can follow after and shoot. Ah, get him. Get him. Oh boy, that hurt. That hurt bad. Health, yes. Oh, nothing, nothing here. Max life, size, and then recoil down. Size up is bad, max life is good, recoil down is good, right? Suck magic, kill the enemy to restore 16 mana. Mmm. Mana. <laughs> Max life is probably the better one there, but but mana <laughs> gets you to string together stuff pretty well. Yet more blessings. I really don't need spells, that's for sure. Woo! Leave me alone. Leave me alone, ghosts. Because I have that suck suck uh, energy or whatever situation, I can kill them really quick and then get all my mana back really quick. Reduced damage taken by 15% is tempting. 1.5% chance to directly kill a non-boss unit is not that tempting. Trap damage to monsters increased by 150%. Nah, hardened skin for sure. Gold room is all I can really choose. Oh man. Okay, careful, 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 careful. Slow these down, slow these down before they get getting too close. Okay, okay. So every time they get hit, they release a volley of bullets, which I can slow down because luckily they're moving in kind of a pattern around the enemy. Grab this, destroy the saw if possible. Okay, back up. My snake things are really not very good for fighting this guy because they hit them a lot. Back up. Okay, there we go. Careful not to get hit by any of these and these ghosts. Okay, this guy releases ghosts the more they're hit, which is less dangerous because I can at least kill those instead of having to run. Ghosts again. Oh, these guys are tough. Get in close to get these bigger hits. Ends the wave way quicker. Gold for me. And interest is probably slowly working for me as well. Maybe, honestly, maybe go for a health room instead of a shop. I have a decent amount of gold, but not that much gold. Although I could buy more health at a shop. Eh, buy health at a shop is tempting. I really want to get more gold, but uh, it's too dangerous right now. Blood volume, restore 30 life. Probably need that, and probably also gonna get the shield. Damage up, 50% extra damage is kind of wild. I need the health, and I need the shield. Damage up is really tempting though. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we go with instead of... Honestly, maybe it's just better to leave pen trade out instead. It sucks that these goose just take a little bit too much mana for me to reasonably hire them in very quickly. Okay, but let's go to the boss room. We do have three goose with us. Don't want my goose to go into those poison, so let's just go straight through. Okay, dice. A dicey situation. Okay, that's the worst joke, but you know what? It's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. That's ridiculous. Okay, so we gotta be careful of that, to be sure. Okay, avoid the poison on the ground. Holy cow. Poison is gonna end me here. Okay. If I'm kinda careful, though, I can still do this. Yeah, for the freeze of the, uh, the penguin there is really useful. Oh, we got him. I had six HP left. Oh, if I walk into any of this poison, I'm just gone. I'm a goner. Ooh, that was close. 30 HP pickup, though. That'll help. Ooh, detonator. Detonator is so nice. I don't totally know what to do with it. Pull these guys off. Pick this one back up so I can pull these. Uh, shoot. Which one do I want to get rid of? The venomous wand? Probably the venomous wand. I think that's the worst one. So swap. I want to put goose and all their enhancements. If I put revolution on the goose, does that matter? If I put accuracy... Does Pursuit matter on the goose? Like, I just don't know. Swap again. We can pull the rest of these spells out. Probably Penetrate on the goose. Multiple shot. Subsequent spells to heavy cast. Does Pursuit do something with goose or no? We'll see. 
Oh wait, oh I double, I double cast them. Okay, travel. Last place. Can I beat it in one go? This is wild, I wasn't expecting to get this far. Probably want to combine some kind of spells here because uh, I know I have something. Combine pursuit, sure. Anything else to combine? Not really. Okay, look at them go though. What the heck? Is that the way I want them to attack though? I, I don't know. Feels like they, like I don't necessarily want that. So let's try rehiring them. Oh. Right, Pursuit is going to mean that their attacks will go where I tell them to go. Which means they can actually hit themselves. Can they hit me? Oh, please tell me they can't hit me. Oh, the, but they can land on the ground. Yikes. Right, that is really dangerous. I feel like I don't really want to use Pursuit either. Wait, why is Pursuit still- Oh, it's still happening because uh, one of these guys is incorrect. There we go. Okay, yeah, Mass Fire onto that one. I wish I had more doubling up damage to put onto them. Go into this. We want to recast stuff for sure, for sure. Revolution, Dark Snake, yeah. Booby Trap. Auto navigation. Auto navigation? On theirs? Maybe? Or what if it was on mine? What if I used auto navigation like this? Okay, so it makes homing snakes, which is ridiculous. Okay, got it. Plus, my uh, my attack will actually hover towards them a little bit, my arcane explosions. Okay. Can we combine anything else? We don't have a ton of gold. I wish I had more gold right at the moment. I've spent it pretty recklessly. Pursuit to try to see if I can cast a random better spell. Thulu. I don't think that's as valuable as the current summon. Frost Crystal is what I'm going to have to go with, and that's fine because that's actually definitely an upgrade. I don't know if a second Frost Crystal does anything, but we'll throw that in there as well, and then we'll summon some more in. So they're now considered like Frost Bullets. Oh, freeze enemy for 2.3 seconds, 1.5 seconds. Okay. I don't know if they'll stack at all, but I guess I might as well leave it in there. I need some health. Do I keep going for Blessing anyway? Is that too risky at this point or no? We keep going for Blessings. It feels Feels like I have to. Mission completed. Thanks for participating in this test. Please add wishlist on Steam. Go to the left and kill yourself. No. Oh wait, it's a troll, right? So there's a way to get through here. How do I? How do I get up here? Oh wait, I can. I can push you into the spikes, right? Yeah. Have my penguins push you into the spikes. I'm gonna make myself immune and see if going the spikes myself does anything. Oh wait, wait. His face changed. If I do enough damage, does something could happen? Oh gosh, turns into a into a boss. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! His bullets didn't slow down. Gosh dang it. Okay, so there is a secret Omega final boss. My lord, you've actually arrived at the Emerald Realm. I ran a lap in the morning and accidentally ran away. It seems that the teacher is right. The Chosen One will save mankind from fire and water. I don't, I don't know what, 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 fire and water? <laughs> okay, let's just upgrade. And uh, reset wand limit. I can have three wands? Are you kidding me? Talk to the other person here. Why is it you? I practice painstaking since I am not as good as a foreigner. I think this is the protagonist Halo. Hmm. I bet since this is a demo that this lady is going to have some spell or some enhancement that they'll give me as well. If I had to guess, but if you guys enjoyed, please let me know down in the comments. I am definitely curious if you can actually defeat that final boss. So if you want me to try and see if I can get that done, be sure to leave a like to let me know and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.